Hey Libras, welcome to Water Baby Tarot by Balmy Spirit. I'm Rodin. So I'm gonna be doing the Libra check-in today. Um, I decided I'm gonna like stick with the check-ins as long as it feels right. There's probably gonna be a time where it doesn't feel right anymore, but it feels right, so let's do it. Libras, as I was tapping into your energy, I was getting like a disgust. Um, I think that you or or someone you're connecting with, or like again, it can be vice versa, someone could be looking at the looking at you this way. There's a disgust around superficiality. Like someone's kind of like like looking at someone like they're really shallow or they're really superficial or materialistic. And it's like, it's a big turnoff. Like, like looking at someone like, like that's what makes you feel good. Like that, like that's where you get your happiness from. It's almost like someone needs praise and accolades to feel good or feel okay. And Libra, I think you're getting like, I think you're just turned off by it. I think it's, it's, it's rubbing you the wrong way here. Um, mm. Yeah, I don't, I'm not liking it. I'm really not liking it. Uh, Libra, shocker, shocker, shocker. Phil haters in your midst. <laughs> I feel like they've got that all the time, Libra. What? What is that? Is it because you're Venusian? Is that what it is? Is that why? I just, I, I feel like this gross, um, like energy around you. And it could be family. It could be family related. I feel like people are looking at your stability and your confidence and they're just like, like they're they're aggravated with you but you're kind of aggravated at the superficiality of other people is really how it's coming oh sorry that was crooked. that's how it's kind of coming across i like it just feels gross it feels icky you kind of feel like you're above it and i don't think you're being pretentious i don't think you're being like Meh. i don't think you're being like that about it i think you're just being really real like yeah that doesn't vibe with me that doesn't jive with me and some some of you are really having this like this energy headed like thrown at you like like oh you think you're hot shit and you're like I just know who I am, right? I, yeah, I get it. I'm just getting this envy around you, Libra. I like, God, I feel bad because I feel like you guys always have that. I feel like that's always around you. Um, but let's go ahead and pull some cards. You know, I was about to pull Crystal, but I don't want to. I don't want to. I want to do Steampunk. Let's do Steampunk for you guys. So as you guys know with the check-ins, you guys know how tarot card readings work. I'm not going to go over the guidelines and rules because you guys should know. And if you're really new, check out the link below for how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer. That will give you a good little one-on-one -on -one crash course on terminology, how to read energy, and how it all works, okay? And if it's not for you, it's not for you. It's not going to be for everybody. It's a very, very general reading. And if the energies are reversed or vice versa, then just take it as such, okay? And if it's not for you, then just keep it moving. All right, Libra? Let's do it. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, by the way. I'm seeing the Sword of... I always say the Sword of Truth. The Ace of Swords. I guess it is what it is, but... I feel like you're acting as a mirror right now, Libra. I think that's why people are so with you. Because you're reflecting their superficiality back to them. <laughs> oh, Libra, I love you. Uh, yeah, I feel like that's exactly what's happening. I feel like you're reflecting their grossness back to them. And they're just like, they're peeved with you. And you're just like, I feel like you might be rolling your eyes. You're, you're over it. You're over it. Any messages for my Libras? For any time they're going to be coming across this, this reading. Anything they should know or be aware of. Any messages for my Libras? Yeah, I feel like heavy five of swords. I feel like you're carrying the sword of truth and there are people around you or someone you're dealing with that's just like super five of swords. Again, that like the very superficial bullshit and you're reflecting it back to them. And not like you're you're not like you're carrying it with you. It's like when I say reflecting it back to them, I need to do a video on 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 this. Um, but like empaths like empaths do that people who have abilities do that healers do that heyoka and like the term heyoka empaths which is really sacred clown and was a whole other video anyway people do that right like healers especially do that where it's not that you're taking on those characteristics you're just acting as a mirror for them and it's like they can't they can't help but see it you're acting as truth essentially it's almost like you're embodying the, the ace of swords in your energy and people don't like what they see but they're just projecting it onto you and blaming you, pointing the finger at you, as opposed to recognizing that it's them. I really feel like for some of you, this is like in a, in a romantic relationship where you're just like, someone is so fucking superficial and it's just really bothering you. It's really grossing you out. Wow. Libra. Oh, there's another card behind there. Ah. Tower in reverse, Mars. So Aries, Scorpio. Three of cups in reverse. Can't see any energy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Seven of cups. 
Scorpionic energy. A lot of Scorpio going on here. We do the full moon Scorpio just a few days out. Yeah, I feel a social circle come crashing down here. People you've been around, I feel like you want nothing to do with them. There's like something that's been revealed, but at the same time with the Seven of Cups, I feel like they're the ones that are let, that they're not seeing things clearly is what it is. It's like an illusion to them. Like I said, you're acting as a mirror and they can't see that it's really them. They think it's you, but it's really them and their bullshit. I'll sing a white dove. I like that. I like that. That to me is, is divinity. And that spirits around you. Yeah, I feel like you're just not vibing with these people, Libra, whoever they are. Or again, some of you, it's it's a, an, an indiv like one individual, take it as it resonates. But you just don't resonate with them. You're not resonating with them. Any other messages for Libra? And they're, yeah, and they're painting you as, as the bad guy. Now we have the Page of Swords. Why do I feel like these people are gonna cause trouble for you? For some of you, these people are gonna, these people are persons gonna try to cause trouble. Yeah, seven of wands, Leo energy. Yeah, I do not like that. I don't like that. I feel plotting with that actually. Not to sound all dramatic, but I do. I feel like a calculated. Let's look at Libra. How can we get Libra? How can we get Libra? How can we get Libra? I feel a very just combative energy there. Ace of wands. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I feel like they're looking at you and your stability and just your confidence and you're just like, and again, it's like they're looking at you like you're the one who's superficial, you're the one who's this, you're the one who's that, and you're just, you're just acting as like the sort of truth with them. We also have a six of wands energy at play with the ace of, ace of wands and the, I keep wanting to say swords, with the ace of wands and the seven of wands. Yeah, they, they're just hating on you, Libra, they're just hating on you. It's almost like this desire to do something about it or to like, it's almost like they, they're they they're thinking like, let's take Libra down a peg. Let's take Libra off their pedestal. Um, Sorry, I didn't mean to like scoff at that, but I feel like that's very futile because look, they're coming across as the Page of Swords. Talk about immaturity, right? Major immaturity. Yeah, it's just very low vibrational shit. It's very low, vib low vibrational shit. I feel like you might even be getting some attention, Libra, and they're really not having it. Overall, we have the Eight of Cups, Pisces. Wow, the Chariot, Cancer. Yeah, an Ace of Pentacles. Look at you. Yeah, see, you're not even around these people anymore. I feel like once this tower comes down around these people, and for some of you, it's one person, uh, you're, you're gone. You're gone. You're not dealing with it. You're not dealing with it. It's it's a low vibe frequency. It's not to who you are. And you're going off to with your stability in tow. Some of you, there's also money at play here. And I just feel like there's a jealous energy here where again they're left with the illusion that you're the you're the one to blame. You're the bad guy. You're the villain, so to speak. And like they've somehow been victimized. But again, I don't think they have. I just think it's just been very clear cut that they're very superficial, materialistic, low vibe, and you're just like you're gone to better places, right? And they're looking at you like, how can we take down the Libra? Yeah, I don't like it. And I'm wondering if they're actually gonna be trouble for you or not, because the page of, page of Swords, I feel like there are a lot of talk. I feel that, but we'll see. Where are we at, eight minutes? Okay, these are meant to be short. You guys know me, I do really long readings, I can't help myself, but these need to be short. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the tower. See what we get with that. I'm actually going to use... No, yeah, I will. I'll use Gilded. It's not with the tower in reverse. It's not what this tower moment is about. It's not with the tower in reverse. Yeah, I feel a sneaky, gross energy from this, this, from this, this. From this, 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 from this. <laughs> Do I have the tower in reverse for Libra? You're so gone though that I'm like, can they even do anything? Tell me about the tower in reverse. Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy could also be earth or fire. I feel like that's you with your stability in tow. Do I remember the tower in reverse? I heard solid like a rock. Yeah, wow, ten of wands, Sag. Yeah, these per these people or person, it's just become a burden for you because it just gets under your skin. 
And I guess, like I just heard, solid as a rock, solid as a rock. Whatever stability you have, Libra, or that you're heading to, I do feel like for some of you it does involve money, which is why there's a weird jealousy, bitter, like weird, like illusionary. Libra's the one who's materialistic. Libra's the one who's superficial. Because I think you do have what it is they want. I don't think you throw it in their face. I don't think, you, you know, I feel like you're way more high vibe than that. But but this is, cl they've clearly become just a burden and irritating to you. And because you're so solid, I think that's, I think yeah, that's why I think this is, like, they're not even going to be a problem because you're solid. So I have the tower in reverse. Yeah. Five of Pentacles, Taurian energy. They're just, yeah, I feel like they're parasites. Yeah, Jesus. Six of Pentacles in reverse, more Taurian energy. I feel like they might even try to take from your stability, Libra. I don't know if they try to get you to buy things for them um, or try to get your attention or try to like, I feel like they try to like get into your stability or to get into your money and you don't allow it. And they blame you like, and they say, oh, well, you're just superficial. Yeah, King of Swords, Aquarian energy could also be Gemini or Libra with the Nine of Cups, Piscean energy. You know what you want. You know what you know what makes you happy, and what makes you happy is not dealing with this kind of energy, not dealing with people who try to take from you. Yeah, I think because you don't give to them what it is that they just feel somewhat entitled to because they're materialistic and superficial, they blame they they they're gonna call you superficial. Yeah, Eight of Wands in reverse, Sag. They've become a block. They've started to slow you down. Talking about Tower in reverse. For Libra. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. King of Cups in reverse. Scorpionic energy could also be water or air. Emotional manipulation. They might try to guilt trip you into like giving them. I feel like it's money related. It's so stupid. I feel like it's money related or trying to get you to buy things or pay for things or to support people. Like, and it feels financial and you're just like, I'm over this. Overall, we have the yeah, out there's the jealousy. Queen of Wands in reverse. Aries could also be fire or water. Yep. Six of Wands. Felt that Six of Wands energy. Inverse. Leo. Four of Wands in reverse. Oopsie. Aries energy. Yeah, these people feel like they have no stability, but it's all they want. And they're very jealous of you, Libra. They're very jealous of what you have, what you possess, and also what you keep, what keeps coming your way. It's like you get more and more and more stability as time goes on. And for some of you, that means more money. Okay. Some of you are just really good with your money. And again, you know what makes you happy, but this emotional manipulative gross superficiality on their part is really blocking you from your happiness here okay and now they're looking at you like how do we take down the libra almost like they want to stop this energy because i feel like for some of you, you might be heading into like a next level up of something whether that's in your job or you're upgrading your like your lifestyle or you're just elevating in your energy to a higher frequency whatever it is they see that and it makes them more irritated and they want to stop it they want to stop it one person or many some of you it's a group Others of you, it's like, it's one individual, but take that as it resonates. Yikes, Libra. But yeah, I, like I said, I don't think they're going to be a problem. I really don't think so. And let, the, you know, and if they want to paint you as the villain, whatever. You know you're not. <laughs> and because you're like already so gone, I really don't think it's going to be a problem. I really don't think so. All right, Lieb, so that was your check-in. I hope you guys found that insightful and helpful. And like I said, I'm sure you guys are going to be fine. Enjoy your stability. Enjoy your abundance. And for some of you, it really is just about enjoying your, um, your financial independence and what that brings you and what you're going to do with it. Some of you, sorry, no, I was wrapping it up and I got, got, got caught back in here. Some of you, whatever you're heading into, you're actually using your, your stability and for some of you, some like actual money to invest in a dream of yours. And that's going to be taking you places away from this energy. Yeah. But don't be surprised if you hear gossip or like people try to like slander you or whatever. I like, again, I'm like, it's, I don't even think you have to worry about it because they're so immature and you're so gone that like, I, I don't think it's going to be a problem. But anyway, so Libras, that's it. I should go. I hope you guys enjoyed that and I will see you guys later. Okay. Have a really great night and I'll see you soon. Namaste.